A few weeks ago, I made a video about uh, my DIY exposure unit. And uh, I've been getting some pretty good feedback, but I've also been getting uh, some questions related to my um, process for exposing screens. So I thought maybe I'd make a video to kind of follow up on that and uh, talk a little bit more about uh, my process for exposing screens and also just, you know, exposing screens in general. When you're exposing screens, uh, you're going to need a dark room. And ideally, you have a dedicated dark room where you do all of that stuff, uh, coating your screens, exposing them, storing them, all that stuff in one room. But if you're like me, you don't have that. You just have your garage. And so every time I need to expose a screen, I basically have to convert my garage into a dark room every time. It's actually not that hard to do that. The main thing to consider is just eliminating all UV light. Uh, that includes any sunlight, any normal lighting fixtures. Uh, you, you just shut them all off and convert everything to um, UV safe lighting. And what I'm using are uh, these bulbs right here. They're uh, yellow bug lights. Uh, they work fine for me. All I do is switch them out with my regular bulbs and uh, I'm ready to go. And then the other thing you're gonna wanna consider is uh, the moisture in the air. Uh, you want to eliminate all moisture. You want it to be as dry as possible. And so having a dehumidifier is pretty much essential to any dark room. So now that our dark room is all set up, we are ready to prep our screens. First thing you're going to do is clean your screens. Uh, so grab a couple screens that you're going to use, uh, whatever is appropriate for your job, and then uh, you're going to clean them with degreaser. Uh, you're just going to make sure that, that, that those screens are, are clean. So there's no possibility that any kind of dirt or anything that's going to create pinholes, you're just going to make sure it's clean. Um, and then once that's dry, then you're going to coat your emulsion. I'm using photopolymer emulsion. Um, it's really the only thing I've used so far, and you know it's been able to handle everything that I've done. Uh, it's, I think it's just a good all around emulsion. Uh, it's got a longer shelf life, which I like. Um, so I think when you're first starting out, that's probably uh, your best bet to just start with that. So then uh, you grab your tub of emulsion, you grab your scoop coater, uh, just pour your emulsion in there and then um, grab your screen. And I like to do a one-on-one -on -one kind of technique where you just coat the back uh, and then you turn the screen around and then you coat the front and then, um, you know, ideally you have a screen drying rack, but you know, I don't have that. So all I do is I uh, just prop it up on top of a couple two by fours and uh, just let it dry for eh, three, four hours, something like that. Um, but you know, make sure that it's completely dry before you go on to the next step. And so now that our screens have dried, uh, now we're ready to tape the film positive to the back of the screen mesh. Um, now is a good time to mention that you should probably double check your screen mesh before you tape the film. Uh, you, you don't want to put the wrong film on the wrong screen. I, I can't tell you how many times I've done that where I've put like the under base film on the 160 mesh and like a regular black ink on the, uh, the 110 mesh. It, it just, it's a mess and to just save yourself the headache down the road, make sure you double check your screen mesh. But did you double check that? Did you double check the screen mesh on those? Now you're gonna need to uh, make sure that your screen, your film, and your glass are all flush up against each other with no space or air in between. Um, ideally you would have a vacuum seal uh, to get that done, but I don't have a vacuum seal on my exposure unit. So what I do is uh, I just have a, a piece of foam board that I cut out. Um, and I cut it to the dimensions of the inside of the screen. And so I just put that on top of the screen like that. And then I weigh it down with a couple of uh, two pound weights and just put that right on top. Now, my exposure time is a minute and 40 seconds, but uh, that is almost certainly going to be different uh, for you uh, based on a number of different variables. I mean, uh, you know, what kind of exposure unit are you working with? Did you buy it? Did you build it? Well, what type of light are you using? Uh, what's the distance between the glass and the light? Um, you know, how dense is uh, the black in your uh, film transparency? You know, there's, there's so many different variables here 
Um, and so I can't really tell you what your exposure time will be. The best thing to do really is to just use an exposure calculator. And I'll leave a link in the description to one that I use. Uh, it's free, it's from Anthem Screen Printing. Um, easy to use, pretty straightforward, uh, and it, it'll really help you dial in your exposure time. Once that's done exposing, I like to pre-soak it with a bottle of water. All I do is lightly spray it on both sides. Then I let that sit for a little bit, and then um, I take it over to the washout booth. When I'm washing out my screens, I'm just using a good old fashioned garden hose. Uh, it's got like a high pressure setting on it, but it is by no means a pressure washer. I actually don't even really use the pressure washer uh, to wash out the screens. I, I usually only use that for reclaiming screens. And so if everything goes smoothly, your uh, screen should look something like this. Uh, I've got some nice clean lines here. You know, none of the image has been blown out. Uh, even the registration marks look nice and crisp. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. You guys have seen a screen before. Exposing a screen is definitely one of the harder things to get right when you're first learning how to screen print. But once you figure that out, well, I don't wanna say that it gets easier after that because let's be honest, screen printing is nothing but problems, nothing but problem solving and figuring out how to do things. Um, but once you figure out exposing a screen, you've definitely uh, tackled one of the harder aspects of it. And maybe the challenges down the road don't seem quite as bad. The point is, no matter what kind of unit you have, whether it's a DIY unit like I have, or if it's one that you buy, um, you know, it's gonna take some trial and error to get things right, like your exposure time. And you know, just get comfortable exposing screens. Cause once you figure that out, then comes the fun part of actually printing. That's gonna do it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Did you check that mesh? Yeah. Did yeah. you check it? Did you double check it? You better check it.